Hey everybody, that's my coffee maker on my studio desk because, uh, well, our kitchen, uh, like I've mentioned, is being remodeled and uh, there's just no room for the coffee maker anywhere or any appliances for that matter in the kitchen. So I've brought my coffee making stuff into the studio, which is actually kind of awesome. I can just like reach over there whenever I need a re refill instead of going down to the kitchen. It's pretty great. I'm not going to lie. I don't mind it at all for now. But a uh, little update on the kitchen. The tile, the backsplash tile has been installed. And um, it's looking pretty great, guys. We got some white subway tile. And... Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Open shelving, nice white airy as my wife likes to say. Backsplash and openness, it's gonna be really, she's a wonderful decorating person. She's got great ideas, very creative. Loves the aesthetics. I'll tell you what she doesn't love though, she doesn't love when I wear my Bluetooth headphones. She won't even kiss me when I'm wearing them, so I'm gonna take them off right now. <laughs> Marriage, and uh, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. It's a little um, geeky. Maybe not geeky, just a little going around. Oh, excuse me, I'm on my Bluetooth 24 seven. It's a bit much. It's not sexy. But uh, tell you what is sexy though. It's this track reveal for Thunderbolt and Lightning. Pretty excited about this record. I don't know if you caught that yet. I always love releasing new music. It's been about a year now since we released new music. I've been working really hard on this record. Well, it's done, so I did work very hard on it. Um, tell you what, this new day and age, you know, the new model is, I'm gonna try to brighten my screen here so I can see what's going on better, and maybe that's not gonna work. Come on, phone. Let's see if I can, no! You're not supposed to see her. So I'm pointing at the ceiling. As <laughs> I accidentally flipped the camera around. No, it was only for a very split second, babe. Don't worry. User error. Oh my goodness. I look like a trash person. <laughs> no, you don't. You look beautiful. Okay, that's better. I got my technology sorted out here. Okay. How's everybody doing? Hello, Karen from Spain. We got, I see Bronnie from New Zealand. I see, who else we got? We got Abby from the UK. Lots of love from Brazil. Got lots of love from Brazil, as always. It's kind of a shame that uh, we haven't made it out there yet, but um, someday soon, I'm sure it'll happen. Thanks for coming in and joining me. Uh, what else can I say as preamble to the big reveal for the track today? We're on track number three for Thunderbolt and Lightning, the Queen Covers album. So far, we've got Somebody to Love as track seven. Um, and that's my coffee maker telling me not to forget to drink my coffee before it gets cold. Nobody likes cold coffee. Actually, lots of people like cold coffee. I just don't like cold, cold coffee. That is a hot drink to me. And uh, so, okay, we got track seven. I'm just gonna let you in another secret. There are eight tracks on this album, but we started with track seven, Somebody to Love, and then track six was uh, Don't Stop Me Now, track five, is uh, Under Pressure, featuring K-Max. If you guys haven't checked out Kevin Max yet, uh, a link to his Facebook page is on the post for Under Pressure, at K-Max. Go check him out, amazing singer, amazing artist. Um, today, we're on track three. One of my favorite absolute songs to perform, Queen or Not, because it's just a wonderful moment during the night especially, obviously, in a tribute to Queen type show, I get to um, 
Well, I dedicate this song every night to the memory of Freddie Mercury and sort of acknowledge that uh, I wouldn't be where I am had it not been for his creative genius, for his creative drive, and um, the amazing depths to which he was able to pull from and, and create some incredible music that inspired him, that inspired millions of other budding musicians. So um, this is a, a love song that he wrote, and someone told me recently that he didn't, he wrote the song, now I don't know this for sure because I never saw him say this himself in an interview or anything like that, but someone said that he wrote this song from the perspective, not of his own perspective, but of the perspective of someone whose heart he was breaking. And if you know anything about his life, that definitely uh, applies for sure. Uh, and, if, and now I'm sort of hearing this song with new ears ever since someone told me that. It was written from this, the perspective of the person who he was letting down in love. And um, he, I believe he wrote this song for Mary Austin who he considered uh, the true love of his life. And so, here it is. Love of my life, you've hurt me. You've broken my heart, and now you leave me. Love of my life, can't you see? Can't you see, love of my life? Uh, that was one of the more um, special recording experiences for me on this record. As you can hear, there are some very lush strings there. And I have been wanting to record Love of My Life with a string arrangement for years now. I think ever since I first heard it, and I wasn't even aware of this song when I first uh, started with the Queen Extravaganza in 2011-12. I'd never heard this song before, and it happened to be one of my friend, one of my best friend's favorite Queen songs. And he said he was so excited to hear me sing it, and I've fallen in love with this song for sure. Um, I, you know, if I do a set of Queen, I, I can't leave it out because it's such a beautiful moment. And. I love strings. I love adding strings to stuff. Um, violins, cellos, violas, double bass, all of that stuff. That's one of my favorite experiences. And, and to be in the studio when strings are being recorded is kind of, it's a very ethereal experience. Uh, always a really fun time. So last year for My Way Volume 1, I, I did a song called Take It With Me by Tom Waits. And my producer, Ben Shive, is an incredible arranger and so he arranged this beautiful arrangement you can go listen to it and it's available everywhere on my way volume one he arranges a beautiful heartfelt uh string arrangement and that was such a wonderful experience i knew that as soon as i heard his, his string arrangement um i knew i wanted to do this with love of my life and i'm so glad that we were able to do it with um the uh the string crew of david davidson who's um well, he's a well-known uh, violin, head violinist here in Nashville. He does, they work on countless records. They've done countless records over the years. They've done, um, they've played on some of my favorite records of all time. So it was a real honor to have those people play on this record. They also played on another track that we're going to be announcing soon. Uh, not just one string arrangement on this record, but two spectacular spring, string arrangements. Uh, so that's Love of My Life, and I have, if you're still with me, I've got another announcement regarding this today. We've teamed up with iTunes, and they have released this song already. You can go listen to the whole thing right now on iTunes. It's a, a special featured release, and they've put it in a number of their playlists. So you can go look it up, Mark Martell, Love of My Life, on iTunes right meow and listen to the whole thing and get it uh, get it in advance of the record coming out next week. So go do that and uh, sorry, not iTunes, I guess technically it's Apple Music. Thank you for the correction, Mr. Josh Peterson. 
He's my manager. He knows what's going on. So Apple Music, for those of you who have that, go check out Love of My Life in its entirety on Apple Music. Sorry if you're only into iTunes. I don't know. But we're so honored that um, the Apple Music people love this track enough to uh, be willing to do a special release of it. So go check that out right now. And if not, check it out next week when it comes out available everywhere. Thunderbolt and Lightning, it's a Queen covers album by yours truly. Truler? We'll stick with that. So uh, my lovely wife now has been paying attention to all your great questions, and I want to answer a few of those right now. What do we got, babe? Uh, we've got some people wondering why on your tour dates, why you're not considering their country. Oh. And we always are. We all always consider all of your countries. They are always on our mind, all 200 and something of them in the world. Uh, we hear all your requests loud and clear. We, we read every single one of the messages we get on uh, various outlets, especially Facebook, we check every day. Um, we get lots of requests for countries in Europe and South America. Um, and all in good times, my friends, all in good time. We will be uh, hopefully heading to those places sometime soon. Uh, and, and you gotta keep checking here because the worst thing that happens is you say, oh, you know, when are you coming to this country? And we were just in your country, for example. <laughs> I got some like, some stuff like that from um, people in Australia and New Zealand. It's like, when are you coming to Australia? I'm like, literally, I was there a week ago. Uh, but maybe they just, you know, discovered me a few days ago and uh, unfortunately didn't catch me at, at the right time. But um, we love coming to Australia. I'm sure we will be returning in the near future. Uh, we would love to get to South America sometime soon. We've never done that. I've never been to South America or Central America for that matter. Uh, Europe, of course, I've been many times and uh, we're just trying to get, you know, it's not easy to go overseas. It's always a lot easier to tour in your own backyard, of course. It's uh, much more expensive and you need to know people in the industry. You need to have some some good relationships there. And so it's it's all about making good relationships overseas in those different countries and making sure everything is legit and uh, we try to get there as soon as possible. So yeah, keep checking markmartellmusic.com slash tour and those are all your updates that you need for shows that I will be at. Um, so for those that are not Apple users, um, someone was asking, can they buy your CDs on your website? Yeah. If you're not an Apple Music subscriber, you can definitely get the whole album next week. It releases October 26th, which is what day of the week that is that? Is that a Thursday? Friday? Friday. Next Friday, folks, you can get it on hard copy from our website and then um, pretty much everywhere. Uh, you can stream it as well if you're into that. Um, I mean, that's about it for questions. That's all we got? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, but check the tour page. Yeah, check the tour page, people. I'm so thankful that you are so excited to see the live show. The live show is my favorite thing to do. And, um, yep, you can see all the dates that are coming up. Actually, 2019 is filling up really fast. Really fast, which is kind of a new experience for me. Uh, a year has never filled up this fast for me in my entire life as a prof professional musician. So I'm so thankful for all the demand uh, to see the live show in its various forms, Black Jacket Symphony, Ultimate Queen Celebration, various symphonic performances. It's all happening all at the same time. I get to do a lot of different things um, and lots of solo shows as well. And uh, I love how diverse my, my work is. I love seeing all your lovely faces at the shows. And once again, I hear all your requests to come to your towns, to come to your countries, and I want to satisfy those as soon as possible, as humanly possible. So uh, thanks for the support. Keep requesting. I'm not telling you that uh, I don't want to hear the requests. I love being invited to your countries and definitely want to get there soon. So um, yeah, anything else, babe? Yeah, I have one more. Uh, we've got a question from Joshua Carlos that I think is uh, really interesting. 
question. What is the process of choosing these specific songs? What's the process of choosing the, sh the songs on Thunderbolt and Lightning? Um, basically, I try to ride that line between doing stuff that that I love and also doing stuff that I know you love, you know? Um, the the uh, tension that you live in, live in as an artist is, you know, you have to keep feeding yourself as an artist and do things that really inspire you while also acknowledging what um, a particular audience also wants to hear. So I think I've really um, hit that bullseye on Thunderbolt and Lightning. Uh, although Love of My Life is not Queen's most well-known song. It's well, it depends where you go. Some places it's well-known. It's, it's incredible to me that uh, the United States and Canada are still sort of catching up to the rest of the world to Queen's repertoire. Songs like Love of My Life, Radio Gaga, um, You Take My Breath Away, um, tie your mother down. I feel like people are discovering these in the Queen, the Queen reper repertoire, and uh, you know, catching up to what the world the world has known for a few decades already. So, yeah, I think the the album is a perfect mix of really well known Queen tunes and with a couple that are my own selfish choices. Uh, last two things. We've got some uh, requests for you to sing, maybe on Monday. <laughs> Or now, but uh, maybe Monday. Maybe Monday. Maybe Monday. And then the last thing was the uh, NFL halftime. Mm -hmm. uh, got changed due to some schedule conflicts. And Someone's asking about that? Well, uh, you're... Ah. Right. Okay, so um, I did the Charlotte Panthers halftime show last weekend. It was a very exciting game, actually. I don't watch a lot of football, but this was one of the games that you should have caught if you're a football fan. It's an exciting finish. Field goal, last last play of the game for the Panthers' win by like one or two points over the Giants. I have no allegiances, so but it was just a very exciting game. Uh, next... So I was scheduled to also sing at the Arizona Cardinals game this weekend, or this uh, Friday, or whenever that game is. Anyway, I'm not singing this week. It got moved to, uh, to the following week. So next week, next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend I will be in Arizona uh, performing the halftime show for the Cardinals game, and I will be leading you in song if you're there and i hope to hear you singing real loud so everyone whether you're in south america europe come on over to arizona for some great american football it's going to be a good time i think i'm also doing the national anthem so that'll be fun i love it and that's all we got today folks thanks for being here once again don't forget october 26th next friday thunderbolt and lightning both of them together thunderbolts are actually lightning Lightning are often thunderbolts. And uh, it's also a, a lyric in a well-known Queen song. I don't know if you know that. So that's all I'll say for now. All right, Apple Music people, go check out Love of My Life right now. And the rest of you, catch it on the flippy. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks.